Hello, thanks for joining us. This is the Battle Royale Fantasy Football League Showtime Spectacular. I'm your host, the worst fantasy football commissioner in the world. The inaugural week of the Battle Royale League kicked off with the rocky start. You could say it would like the pre-credit scenes of the James Bond movie, Octopussy. While a simple operation to destroy an enemy plane equipped with a large moving toaster filament within its nose is first foiled by an eye for detail of one of the enemy commanders, namely the individual Bond was impersonating. Well, it's a small world. You're a Toro too. There was confusion and chaos. But most of us were able to pull through and get to our games on time with what eligible players we had. In terms of the movie Octopussy, the league was successful in destroying not only the enemy plane, but also the entire hangar concealing it. Now let's get past the amazing feats of a James Bond in a mini jet plane and get into some game highlights. Starting off, the Ghost of Muncie Flyers versus the Leather Cheerios. The Leather Cheerios seemed hard to chew for the soaring apparitions at first. The Cheerios took a big lead and quick, but one Flyers player turned, this tables, turned the tables on this match. Is he coming or going, Brett Favre? It all reminded me of when the movie Octopussy came out in 1983. That same year, a former Bond star pulled a Brett Favre. Sean Connery had a 007 comeback in Never Say Never Again. Right at the same time, Roger Moore was hitting the big screen in Octopussy. But Connery didn't have as much success at a return as Favre did Sunday, picking up 28 points for the Ghost, helping them beat the Cheerios 81 to 79. Moving on to team Clay Bust of Lionel Richie as they wanted to know if they were what the power grunts were looking for. Does James Bond eat the sheep head entree in the movie Octopussy? The answer is no. You could call it the top of the train fight scene in Octopussy. The teams were going at it, but they weren't as threatening as the bridges and overhangings passing them by. The Richies win this one, 59 to 31. Both the teams had one player on the right track though. Quarterback Philip Rivers molded 26 points for the clay bus, and the tight end Antonio Gates squirted out 24 for the power grunts. Ugh. From trains to planes, the fever blisters tried to pop one on team Buddy Ravel and the brass knuckles. It was a close one, much like the fight scene on top of a plane in the movie Octopussy. It seemed like either side could fly off the edge at any point during this grueling encounter, but only eight points, much like a slight slap from an airplane's radio antenna to the face, would send the fever blizzard blisters to their demise. Knuckles win it, 78-70. Next up, a bro against bro face-off. Chris Zuniga, I Beat Pete's, took on the modest mariachi led by big brother Anthony Zuniga. Like the assassin knife throwing circus twins in Octopussy, one would have a tough time deciphering which Hermano to put their money on. But the unusual blade launching did take place, leaving only one blousy crimson shirt, black vest wearing sibling on top. Congrats to the Peter Beaters with a 69 to 59 win. Now for a quick rundown of the games that reminded me of the encounter between James Bond dressed up as a clown and a security guard in the movie Octopussy. Team Thriller in Manila versus the Stupid Reporters. The thrillers outsmart the journalists, 50 to zero. 
Lubbock Renegades versus Aaron's Flower Garden. Renegades de-weed the garden, 46 to zero. <laughs> the Pirates of the Plains take on John's Dance School. The Pirates pillage the school, 46 to zero. <laughs> Dorado's Disasters and the Middle Schoolers. Dorado schools the schoolers, 74 to zero. <laughs> Finally, the Leche Negro took on the Bowler Express. The Bowler Express seemed like cool guys, you know, good guys. Like James Bond's spy buddy BJ in the movie Octopussy. He's there through thick or thin, double o, with 007. He helps James escape a deadly, deadly chase of golf cart taxis on the busy streets of India. Game set and match. Hang on, James. BJ was a guy you were rooting for. But then comes Leche Negro, like a hired Indian thug, paid to take out James Bond. But before getting his hands on Commander Bond, Leche lets his deadly saw blade yo-yo go right in the face of the Bowler Express. The black milk didn't do a body good for the Bowler Express. They win 116 to 72. A closing thought before we go. What do you think of when you think of fantasy football? What image sinks into your mind? For me, I picture a football, but instead of being this big, it's this small. Instead of leather, I see it covered in diamonds and precious stones and jewelry, laced over in a net of gold. A valuable ornament filled with pleasures and secrets. Much like the Fabergé egg in the movie Octopussy. <clears throat> think that this should be ample security. Don't you? Play. Keep that in mind next week as we head into another round of the Battle Royale Fantasy Football League. Thanks for sharing this time with us. I'm the worst fantasy football commissioner in the world. Take care. <laughs>